So as, as you can imagine, it is critical for the success of IMI to establish strong collaborative links with other programs which uh, are op operational in the member state. It's also very important that within the member state, the, the, the spirits and the projects of IMI are appropriately disseminated. And that's the reason why we have an IMI member state representative group. And the chair of this group is Stavros Malas, and it's now my pleasure to invite Stavros to tell us about the vision of this group about IMI. Hello, everybody. Um, I think this is the first time that you had the opportunity to communicate with the member states group. Uh, we are the group that uh, represents uh, officially uh, you, uh, your voices uh, in the governance structure of IMI. And uh, I'm pleased to see that uh, many of my colleagues are here today, so your first task is to meet them if they're here or if they're not here to find out who they are because it's your official voice to the IMI governance. So just to remind you uh, of the IMI governance, so uh, this is the member states representative group. Uh, it's an advisory group that is uh, composed of representatives from uh, the EU member states uh, who contribute to the European budget, of course, and in addition to that, many countries are associated specifically with uh, the research portfolio of the Commission. Uh, those are the associated countries or the candidate countries, there are about 12 of them. So one representative from each of these countries is sitting in this uh, member states representative group. Um, for those of you that are familiar with uh, the functioning of uh, the European Union, um, you are probably know that uh, under the various pillars of uh, research funding uh, that uh, Felipe described earlier, there are committees, uh, member state committees that oversee the activities of uh, research funding. Uh, if you're talking about the European Commission itself that functions as an agency, uh, there are committees which normally are called program committees and they approve, they have powers to approve what the Commission is doing. In this case, we ha we are the, the public is 50% partner to a new entity, therefore we are an advisory committee and we provide an opinion in addition to uh, facilitating the dissemination of information, explaining to you and to our governments what IMI is doing. Um, we provide an opinion on the annual scientific priorities. You are probably aware that we have a, um, a new format in how scientific priorities are decided. First of all, there is a general framework that is set for those, for the scientific priorities, and that is the strategic research agenda. And for every call, the FPR companies decide, they're always a partner to this, to every consortium, so they decide for each call what their priorities are. And when they decide, we are made aware of those priorities and we comment on this. Of course, we always look to see that uh, we have synergies, uh, not duplication with the framework program, the cooperation program in particular. Uh, we also look at the outcome of the evaluation process and with very detail and as we progress a report and as we progress more into the IMI calls these reports will get more and more detailed. So we have a complete picture of what exactly is happening in terms of uh, academics participating in IMI calls. Um, as Michelle mentioned earlier on, um, we will have an update on the research agenda soon and the member states representative group will have a role to play in that. Uh, in addition to overseeing the activities of IMIJAU, we also uh, look at the evaluation process and any changes that are taking place. We're empowered by the uh, council regulation 
to have an opinion if there is a change in the evaluation process, and we did have a small change between the first and second stage. Um, the other issue that the member states represent this group is in part to have an opinion on is the issue of IPR, and this is something that I will say one or two things later on as well. So um, IP policy is really important. We have discussed this before IMI was formally launched, and we're in the process of discussing that uh, uh, following the launching of IMI because we see some problems there. And finally, in the IMI governance structure, there is a scientific committee that advises, uh, confers a more detailed opinion on the uh, scientific priorities, and we have been given the prerogative by the governing board to suggest the names of these people. So these are mainly scientists coming from academia and with strong knowledge of industry. Well, the stage representative group, despite the fact that it has been uh, uh, officially in, uh, launched uh, two years ago, it was preceded by another group, so the so-called mirror group. Between 2004 and 2008, we had discussions about IMI. And uh, there was a lot of perceptions, a lot of skepticism, I must say. I have followed this group for, since the beginning. Because, first of all, um, this discussion was taking place uh, when uh, Framework Program 6 was in action. And uh, we knew that they will take approximately just under... 20%, 17%, fairly percent of the health budget for the corporation uh, to go towards IMI. And we also knew at the time that uh, in real terms, the investment in health uh, through the framework program was going to be reduced from framework program six to framework program seven. That wasn't, this skepticism was found, it was based on a number of other issues. Uh, first of all, we had a major change from the concept of funding research from framework program five to six. Framework program five had a more uh, bottom-up, if you like, approach towards funding research. Uh, framework program six didn't have that. It was a more of a top-down, uh, very targeted project and change of instruments in funding research. So there were many changes in how the Commission was handling money for research, and on top of that, of course, we had the new concept of IMI. Um, the other issue that was discussed extensively, uh, that was the notion of pre-competitive research. I had great difficulty every time I was going to this meeting, I knew we were starting from the beginning, trying to explain what this means. Uh, many people were thinking that the, here are the big farmers coming in to take uh, public money to do their own research, which is not the case. Uh, of course, um, all these thoughts were happening against the background of EU enlargement, and uh, the 15 countries became 25 and later 27, and there were concerns whether all academics or countries, if you like, will have um, successful participation uh, to IMI. Um, and the last two issues were, again, the IP issues that were of some concern and also the funding model. So those were, that was a background against which IMI was launched. 